Hello, Hair Tools users. Welcome to my Blender Hair Tools tutorial series, part four. Here, I'll show you the new geometry node-based hair system. First, open a new Blender project. Make sure you're using Hair Tool version 2.41 and Blender 3.3 and above. Import a character or head into your scene. Create a quick scalp, which we will use as the surface for our hair curves. After you have your scalp faces selected, press Shift plus D to duplicate the faces. Right mouse click, then immediately press P, then Selection. Now you have a new scalp. I'll be naming mine New Scalp. I'm also going to remove all the other materials from the scalp mesh and create a new one called Scalp. I have a scalp texture that I'll be using under my curves. Select the scalp you just created and press Shift plus A, Add Curve, and select the empty hair curve. Rename the curves to Hair Curves. Click on your hair curves and go into Sculpting Mode. Now we are going to add our curve guides, which determine the flow of the hair. I recommend changing the count to one and adjusting the length as desired. Now we are going to place our curve guides. This will determine the flow of the hair. You can always go back later and change these around to get a different look. Now switch over to the comb brush. Comb these guides into a desired flow as a starting point for the children we add later that will follow these guides. You can change the strength and radius of the brush in the top or side toolbars. Once you have placed your curve guides, switch back to object mode. Select your scalp and go to the hair tool tab on your toolbar. If it's not visible, press N on your keyboard. Find the hair system and click the plus sign to add a new hair system. Rename the hair system to parents. Change the tag to comb and the parent to guide. Turn on the link button. Under curve guide, choose the hair curves we made earlier. Under Deformers, change the child generator to Strands Filter and turn on Interpolate to Parents. Under the Parent Hair System, change the profile to a desired option. I'll use Flat with UV, update the width and then the density to fill in the hair. We need to add some texture to our hair cards. Select your scalp or surface and press Shift plus H on your keyboard. Then simply navigate to the Hair Material UV window and click on Import Default Hair Material. Next, we need to add the children. Go to the hair tool panel and add another hair system. Change the name to children and parent to guide. Turn on the link button. Update the density and width till you get your desired result. Now we can start sculpting the hair. Click on the hair curves object and go into sculpt mode. Choose the comb brush, change to projected and start grooming. You can also add length to the hair using the grow or shrink brush. I forgot to mention earlier that you can highlight your guides so you can see them easier. Do this by going back into object mode, selecting your scalp or surface, and then it'll turn on the parent strands overlay. Select your hair curves and go back into sculpt mode. Now you can see the guides easier while sculpting. Once you've achieved your desired result, test out the deformers. Go back into object mode and click on your scalp. Under Deformers, add the Align Tilt to align the hair cards with the scalp mesh. You can bring in the Curl Waves Deformer to add some drama to the hair. Adjust the settings to get your desired result. You can bring in other deformers as well to see the different effects. Now that I'm satisfied with my hairstyle, I'm going to edit the density and width of the hair cards to see if I can get a better result. We can change the hair texture by going into UV editing window and picking a different texture. Choose your texture and play around with the size till you get the desired result. I'll be using the default opacity map that comes with hair tool. Please note, when using the hair system, you can only pick one UV area. If you need more variety, you can use the custom profile instead. See description for the link on how to make custom profiles. Since my hair cards are thinner, I'll be picking a smaller section here. Once you're done, press enter.
Once you're satisfied with the hairstyle, simply head over to the Hair Tools panel and select Convert Hair System to Mesh under the Hair Operators window. For this tutorial, we'll stick with the default hair material, but for added flair, you can bake your own unique material using the baking scene and export all the texture maps to use in popular programs like Unreal Engine and Character Creator. This hairstyle is on the higher poly side, but you can always use wider cards that are less dense to get a lower poly count. We can test out other hair colors by going into the shader settings, press tab on the hair parameters node, and then adjust the root and end color on the color ramp node. Once you have the result you're looking for, then your hairstyle is complete. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was beneficial. Until next time, keep creating and take care.